Good morning everyone. Let's take a look at lead code problem. Robot bounded in a circle. When we look at it, the look at it for the first time, it looks to us that it is very difficult. But when we go through it and when we try to solve it, it is fairly very simple if we understand what the problem statement is saying. The problem is on an infinite plane, a robot initially stands at 0, 0, 0, and faces north. Let's say if these are all directions north, south, east, west. Initially, the robot is here and it is facing towards this direction, north direction. There are instructions given, if it is G, go straight one unit. If it is L, turn 90 degrees to the left. If it is R, turn 90 degrees to the right. The robot performs the instructions given in the order and repeats them forever. I would like you to take a look at this uh, last part of the statement and repeats them forever. This is very important to solve this problem. If we don't, if we miss this problem, we will be losing some of the test cases. Return true if and only if there exists a circle in the play such that the robot never leaves the circle. So after following all these instructions, if there is a possibility to form the circle, by the robot, then we will have to return true, otherwise we will have to return false. Let's take this example. Uh, given these instructions G G L L G G. Let's see this. Initially the robot is uh, facing towards north north and the instruction is G. It goes one unit towards north and again there is one more G G G and the next instruction is left. That means uh, now the robot will be moved facing towards east as instruction is uh, left. So the robot turns towards left and it is moving toward, it is uh, heading towards uh, east. And the next instruction is again L. It, it turns again. Now previously it was facing towards east now the robot will be moved facing towards south when it takes left. The instruction again is G. So it goes back one step and the instruction is again G. So it is back to the position where it started. That means there is a possibility of the circle. The robot has formed a circle. We will have to return to row. Let's see the next use case. The instructions are Let's take the third third use case example. G L. G means go one unit upwards towards north and take and move and turn towards left. So here is where the, the robot is and it is uh, heading it is it is looking at east now. Now if we take a look at the second part of the statement the robot performs these instructions forever. They repeat it forever. Now it is facing towards east, so we, it will go. It can go one more one unit in the east direction. Now it can. It will take again left from here. It goes here. If we take one more left, we are back to the circle. That means if the robot repeats these instructions over and again, we have formed the circle. So we will have to return true. Let us take a, one more example. If the instruction is G, we have, gone, we have gone one unit up. And the instruction is R and G, we have come right. And if instruction is left and G, we have gone here. Now if we see this, if this is the one, we are moving towards upwards. If robots, if robot repeats these instructions, it will be indefinitely going towards north. There, so there is no possibility to form the circle. 
so the uh, the successful criteria to form the circle is either the robot is back to where it where it was or it should not be facing towards north if it faces any other directions there is a possibility for example if it is facing our right it can take one more right from here and it can it can repeat these instructions and we are back to here the key is repeating the instructions <coughs> So the success criteria is either we are uh, back to where we where we started, or we are not heading towards now. These are the success criteria. Now let's see how we are going to code it. I have taken the initial position x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero. The coordinates are the initial coordinates. Like the if the robot is at zero comma zero, and if it is uh, heading towards north, we the, if the instruction is G, then the coordinates are 0, 1. If the, if the robot is at 0, 0, and if the instruction is, and uh, if it is facing towards east, and the instruction is 0, then it goes to minus 1, 0. If, if the robot is at 0, 0, and if it is uh, heading towards west, that is right, then the instruction sorry if it is zero zero comma zero and if it is uh, heading to if it is facing towards south then it is zero comma minus one if it is going towards right it, then it is one comma one comma zero so the initial direction is zero as we seen it in the problem description it is moving towards north so i was re i'm repeating over this uh, i'm i'm looping over these instructions if the instruction is zero then I will take the direction. So if the direction is north, that is zero, let us give these directions values so, so that we will not be confused. It is zero, one, two, and three. So if it is zero, initially it is north, that is zero. So coordinates of zero comma zero, which is zero. So x will be added with, with the value zero. And y will be added with the value of 1, 0, 1, that is 1. That means the, if it is moving towards north and the instruction is 0, it will be here. It will go one, the, one unit there. If it is left, if the instruction is left, then we will have to update the direction because it will be moving, it will be facing towards this, that is east. We will have to add value 1. So add it with the value 1. And I did module of four because there can't be more than four directions. Yes, condition that is if uh, the direction is the if the instruction is R, that means the right direction. So it will be moving. It will be facing towards west. So initially it is towards zero. We will have to add three because the value is three. And I will do with the module of four. So I will rip, I will loop over these instructions. And uh, yeah, as we seen the uh, success criteria before, either we are back to the original position that is 0, 0, or the direction is not towards north, which is not equal to 0, then we are good. So this is how we are going to solve this problem. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.